what do you look for when you're looking in the attic? Mostly insulation or? Yeah, uh, insulation, the depth of it. We'll look for insulation levels down in the basement and then on the main floor, which is what I'm doing now. We're able to depressurize the house, which means remove all the air from it. And then with all the windows and doors closed and shut, uh, the makeup air has to come back in to replace all the air we're taking out. And that's the rate at which it does that. We're able to calculate uh, how many times the air changes in the house per hour and actually physically find the airflow into the house. There's maybe a little bit on the trim of this like down here, but apart from that, that's it. So, um, oops. Best thing you can do is try to seal any gaps into the ceiling because uh, you don't want moist air going up there, right? So weather stripping for the attic hatch, that sort of thing. What type of report do you end up giving the homeowner? Um, they get a fairly, it's, it's fairly detailed. You get a sense of um, how the house performs now in terms of energy. Um, energy use and then of course where that's happening so you get a bar graph that says these are the different areas of the house and this is where most of the heat loss is coming from right um, and then there's uh, you get a score uh, it shows you well here's based on my recommendations here's what score you could achieve we sometimes give out 15 pages of, of material that says insulate this and, and caulk that and replace these windows and luckily when you get the report it won't be a real uh, won't be a, be a real boring read it'll be pretty quick <laughs>